Hello, welcome to your 30 day yoga challenge with Lydia. Today is day 15, halfway through your challenge. Let's start by finding a comfortable seat, cross-legged or onto the heels and just checking with the body, see how it feels whilst you've been practicing yoga every day. Connecting with the breath, checking in and just seeing how your body feels and how the mind feels, what's on your mind, just acknowledging, no judgment. Begin to find some stillness. And today we're going to work through some mobility of the hips. So really focusing on the hip area, the glutes, the hip flexors, and just finding some subtle release as you do store emotion around the hips. So if you can, when we work through the asanas, bring the feeling of letting go. And hopefully you feel stronger after this practice and it's something you can come back to if you need to. So from here, let's work through a gentle head roll, one way. Feeling some tension release through the neck. And then we'll circle back the other way. And bringing the head back to center, let's interlock the hands, bring the arms above the head. Take three deep breaths, feeling some length through the spine. Getting the air all the way into the abdominals. And as you exhale, let's release the hands. Working through the shoulders here if you need to. And we'll begin warming up the hips by bringing your sitting bones down. The hands come behind. If your shoulders are feeling quite open, bring the pinkies together if you need to, bring them wide. And we're just going to open and lengthen through the chest here. So yesterday we worked through the chest area, the heart chakra. Just want you to really open and keep lifting the heart up towards the sky. The feet become wide and we're just going to rock side to side, loosen off the hips. Taking some deep breaths, warming up the hip area as we lower down one knee to one side at a time. And then maybe you feel a gentle stretch. Breathing into the belly still. And then in your own time, let's bring the body round all the way on to all fours. The hands come underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we're going to tuck the toes, lift the hips and find your down dog. From here, step, hop or jump, feet to hands. Depends on how you're feeling today. Shake out the shoulders and let's roll up through your spine. Leave in the head last. So we're going to work through a few sun salutations now to really warm the body up. We're going to Engage the toes, engage the thighs, big breath in as we reach up. Exhale as we bring the hands together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to floor, step or jump. Your chaturanga, so from here, bend into the arms. Inhale as we pull through to your cobra. Lengthen the arms here or bend if you need to. For the first one, we're going to bend back into the arms, bring the chest down onto the floor. Push up onto your knees and then tuck the toes. Lift the hips into your downward facing dog. From here, let's step the right foot through. High lunge. Inhale as we reach the arms up. Exhale, let's find your high lunge or warrior one. Ground in both feet, square up the hips and square up the shoulders. Big breath in, exhale as we lower hands to floor. Shoot the front foot back, chaturanga. Bend into the arms, inhale as we pull through to your cobra. Let's lower back down once more. Bend back into the arms as we lower the chest. Push up onto your knees, tuck the toes and find your down dog. Step, hop or jump, feet to hands. And shake out the shoulders. Let's roll it up through the spine. Today is going to be a little bit more energizing than what we've done the past few days. Inhale, let's reach the arms up. Always flowing with your own breath. Move in the way you feel. Halfway lift. Hands to floor. Step or jump. Inhale as we lower. Pull through to your cobra. Exhale now as we lift straight into your downward facing dog. 
Notice how that felt going straight from cobra into your down dog. Inhale as we step your left foot through, high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Either stay in here if that feels good or warrior one. Squaring up the hips, square up the shoulders. Inhale as we reach the arms up. Exhale, ground the hands either side. Shoot the front foot back back your chaturanga, pull through to your up dog and let's lift the hips once more. Straight into your downward facing dog, step through the legs here if that feels good. So like I said, we're really gonna focus on the hips today. Let's ground the knees and find a nice tabletop position. We're gonna lift and extend your left leg. Lift the leg so it becomes high in line with the hip. From here, Bend into the knee, feel the glutes and hamstrings engage, flex the foot and let's lengthen, exhale, <sighs> inhale, bend, exhale, lengthen, stay strong through the arms, try not to drop into the shoulders, working through four more, <sighs> feeling the glutes engage here. And on your next exhale, we're gonna lengthen the leg, bring it all the way out to the side. So the left leg comes in line with that, with your right knee. Flex the toes. From here, nice and light on your fingertips as we reach up with your right arm, open the chest. And exhale as we bring this arm through, thread the needle, reaching through. Relax the head down. Inhale as we slowly unwind, let's reach back up, open the chest and exhale, reach it through. Working through one more, inhale as we slowly unwind, open the chest, feel that inner thigh lengthen and exhale, bring it through. Slowly realign the hands underneath the shoulders, lengthening through the spine as we exhale, sit the hips back. Inhale as we come forwards. We've done this before. See how it feels today. Keep that left knee soft if you need to. Open the chest as you come forwards. Exhale, sit the hips back as you push back. <sighs> Scanning in and seeing how this feels for you today. Working through a couple more. <sighs> Maybe you sit back a little bit deeper, but keep the tailbone lifted. And then from here, find some stillness as we inhale and reach up with your left arm, open the chest. Exhale, reach that arm through, thread the needle. You might not go as low as we did on the other side, but let's see. Inhale, slowly unwind, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, let's bring it back through, thread the needle. One more. Open the chest and exhale, let's bring it through twisting through the spine and then in your own time let's bring it back down walking the hands all the way towards you finding this triangle okay tucking the tailbone stay nice and upright through the spine inhale as we reach up with your right arm exhale slide this left hand down that left leg feeling this side body open really lift the chest up towards the sky the shoulders come away from the ears two more breaths and exhale let's bring it down into half moon we're going to ground this right hand now onto the mat in line with your right knee and let's lift your left leg stay here if you need to or let's lift feeling that glute engaged now you should all be able to do this one after the recent practice <sighs> keep that glute muscle engaged <sighs> Either stay here or let's bend into that knee. Reach for your foot. Feel a nice stretch through the front of the hip. Hold in for two more breaths. And slowly release. Bring in the knees now underneath you. The knees are in line with the feet. And we're gonna bring the hands onto the lower back. Lift and open the chest as we gently support the lower back, lengthen through the uh, spine as we come into a nice back bend. It's really hard to talk as I do this. But think about opening the chest and avoid crunching into your upper neck, really lengthen the throat. 
Feel the stretch in the hips. And exhale as we slowly release, bringing the hands down underneath you. Let's find your all fours position. Relax the head, bring the spine back into a neutral position. After a back bend, maybe a child pose feels nice, but you don't want to bring in too much flexion. So just a gentle rounding of the spine, maybe a cat cow. <sighs> Taking some deep breaths, checking in with the body. From here, let's find a neutral spine. Remember, shoulders are away from the ears. Let's tuck the toes, lift the hips, find your down dog. <sighs> Step, hop or jump feet to hands if you guys are still trying to hop. Bring the hips towards your heels. Let's bend into the knees, the hips come low. And then you stack the hips above the shoulders when you fly forwards. Find that hop, nice and light on the fingertips. Let's roll up through the spine. Bringing the body up to standing. So now we're going to our mountain pose. Let's reach the arms up. Exhale, palms together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to floor. Step, hop or jump. And bend through, pull through to your up dog as you inhale. And let's lift the hips into your downward facing dog. <sighs> Finding your breath. Choose child pose here if you need to. On your next exhale, let's bring it to all fours, tabletop. Reach and extend with your right leg now, nice and strong through the arms as we extend that leg. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend, bringing that heel towards your bum. As you extend, squeeze the thigh. Four more. Feeling the glutes start to wake up. The hip begins to open. Last one, keep it extended. Lower the leg now in line with the hip. So you bring it right out to the side. I'll show you from this angle now. Nice and light on the fingertips. Let's bring the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale as we reach up with your left arm. Open the chest. Exhale as we fine thread the needle on this side. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, twist through. Really nice. Let's work through one more. Release and let it go as you exhale. And then bringing the hands back underneath the shoulders. Let's bring the hips back now. Working through the adductors as we release off some tension. Shoulders come away from the ears. Finding that nice stretch. Reaching up now with the right arm. Open the chest, take your time. Move with the breath and then reach through to your thread the needle. Notice how this side feels. And gently bring it back to center. Keeping the legs where they are now as we lift the chest up. Nice and strong through the core. Lengthen the spine, lengthen your right leg. Big reach up as we reach up with this left arm. Open the side body, shoulders away from the ears and let's drive that right hand down the leg. <sighs> Feeling that side body lengthen. Maybe you feel it all through your hips, maybe the glutes, maybe the intercostal muscles around the ribs. On your next exhale, let's slowly release. Bring it all the way back to all fours. Really nice. Taking a few breaths here, making any extra stretches if you need to before we come into another back bend as we lift the hips. Feel free to repeat this one where we pop the hands onto the lower back. Think about keeping the shoulders away from the ears. So we're gonna start here and if anyone wants to lower down into camel, you can bring the hands now onto the ankles as we really lift and open the chest, relax the head. <sighs> Holding for five breaths. And as you come on out, we're going to support the lower back with the hands. If you were there the whole time, perfect. Slowly lower, releasing the hands down. And again, work through a few cat cows if that's feeling good for you. 
Just realign the spine. From here, neutral spine, tucking the toes. Lift the hips into your down dog. Step, hop or jump. Feet to hands, shaking out the shoulders, rolling up through the spine, bringing the body up to a standing pose. So we're gonna bring the legs wide now to really get into the hips. So we're gonna work through a few circles if that feels good for you, just in this wide position, loosening off any tension around the hip area. Couple of circles one way and then see how it feels to do the other direction. And then keep the knees soft as we find a nice hip hinge. So the legs become wide and you, you push the hips back and you've got a nice flat back here, okay? You're not rounding and relaxing. Let's hold this neutral spine. So it's a really active pose. The hips are back, the knees are soft, the core muscles are engaged. Now reach the arms above the head for five, four, three, two, one, and relax down. Relax the shoulders, relax the head, and let's just walk the hands through the gap to see how far you can travel through today. You can always bring the legs wider or closer here if you need to. And if it feels really intense in your knees, just bend into the knees some more. Engage in the inner thighs. On your next exhale, let's walk the hands back out. We're going to loosen off now through the lower back. So we're going to keep length in the spine as we walk the hands over to your left foot. Look over your left shoulder, really open up that side of the body. Taking some deep breaths, feeling some tension release through the inner thigh. Maybe walk that right hand further towards your left foot. Look over that left shoulder and look for your bum. Big breath in, exhale as we make it over to the other side. Walking the hands across, both hands over to that right foot, as far as over as you can. Then let's look over that right shoulder, look towards your bum. Breathe into the belly. And slowly come on out. Really nice. Bring the hands onto the hips. Let's find that same neutral spine as you squeeze your glutes to come up to stand in. Notice you're in a really wide position here. We're going to toe heel and find your triangle. So we bring the feet in now, a little bit wider than your squat position. You've done triangle before and always use a block here. I can demo today how your positioning will be with a block as well. So the block comes in front of your foot. Okay, it can either go down or high depending how mobile you are. And we're gonna lift and lengthen through the spine first. Hips go towards the left, the right foot's turned out. The arms align with the shoulders, you reach towards the right. Okay, you're in a corridor, you're not going forward or back. Breath in and exhale as we lower. If you feel like you're crunching through this right side, you'll need a block. A block helps support, helps you lift and lengthen and keep opening up that left shoulder. If this is feeling good, maybe you lower a little bit deeper. Okay, you can keep the knees soft if you need to, but eventually you'll lengthen the legs. Maybe look up over that left shoulder. And on your next exhale, let's bring it all the way up. Really nice. So you're working into that side body as you lift. You're engaging the muscles. Stepping that right foot forwards and then we're going to turn out with this left leg. Finding triangle on this side and each side will feel completely different. And that's normal. Hips now towards the right. Arms up in line with the shoulders. Big breath in. Reach, reach, reach. And lower. Again, if you feel like you're crunching, reach for this block. If you have one or a book, you can use whichever. And let's look up over that right arm. Opening up the side body now. Really working into the hips. Breathe into the belly. Exhale, release. Two more breaths. And exhale as we bring it back up to seated. Coming now into standing, coming now into an active squat. So let's bring the feet wide, sitting nice and low into this nice strong squat position, lengthening through the spine. And you wanna keep the tummy muscles engaged, try not just to relax. You wanna lengthen the spine, the core muscles are active. The toes are turned out and the knees are tracking the toes. So the glutes are active here as well. 
palms together. Use the elbows to push the knees apart to help lengthen the inner thighs. And this will activate your hip flexors and stretch the adductors. Okay, if you wanna make it more challenging, let's lift the hips up higher. So you're really active now. Hold in for three more breaths. On oh, your next exhale, lower the hands. Let's lengthen the legs, shake out the shoulders, and let's roll it up through your spine, leaving the head last. We're gonna come back into the hips now as we bring the legs wide. Maybe we circle through the hips again. Really releasing off the lower back. Nice, and let's come into that same wide position. We're gonna find another hip hinge, look for that forward fold, the chin is tucked in line with the spine. Let's reach the arms up again for five, four, three, two, one. Relax all the way down, and again, let's walk the hands through. You should feel it, really feel it in your legs now, a nice release, you should feel them working. You're stretching and strengthening the legs. Okay, so from here, we're gonna turn the toes out. Okay, so like a squat, you would turn them out, working your external muscles. From here, let's walk the hands over to the right foot and you're gonna bend into the right knee, lengthen the left leg. This is ninja squats, okay? The more weight you have on your hands, the easier it will be for your legs. So it'll be a really good way just to get into it, just to feel some stretch as we walk side to side taking your time. If you feel like the heel is lifting on your squatting foot, so on my right knee, um, just ground into it and you can use a book to support the heel if you need to. So what I mean by that is a little heel lift. This is quite a big heel lift, but um, you can actually sit onto something, okay? And that will help with your heels. A book would be perfect. If you are doing this one and you're loving it, maybe release and take some weight out of the hands and you can really work the legs by bringing the palms together. But do what feels good for you, okay? If you want to work strength, definitely lift the hands. Let's do one more each side. to Keep length in the spine wherever you are. And then bringing the body back to centre. Hands on the hips as we lead with the chest and bring the body all the way up to stand and engage in the glutes at the top. <sighs> Toe heel the feet together. We're now gonna face towards the top of the mat. We're gonna hold onto the hips and I'm gonna show you some hip mobility drills that we've done in the past, but we're gonna wrap it out, okay? So let's ground that left foot. We're gonna lengthen your right leg. Done this before, warrior three. Use a wall here if you need to. From here, slowly bring that leg through. We're gonna bend into the knee. Maybe you interlock the hands around your big toe. Exhale, let's lengthen your leg. For five, four, three, two. Exhale, release. Shake out the legs. Straight into the other side. Bend into that right leg. Let's find your warrior three. Looking for that balance. And pendulum it through, knee comes up higher than the hip. Either stay here or reach for that big toe. Interlock the hand, the two fingers and thumb. And lengthen for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Releasing out the legs. How did that feel for you? Spreading the toes. Let's bring the body up to the top of the mat. We're going to sink down now into a chair. Bending into the legs. Arms come above the head. Breathe into the belly. Shoulders away from the ears. And on the next exhale, let's lift the hips. Relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to floor. Step, hop or jump. Your chaturanga. And lifting the hips into your downward facing dog. We're gonna finish now with pigeon on each side. Inhale as you lift up your right leg, three-legged dog. Let's bring that leg all the way forwards, finding your pigeon on this side. Supporting the hips if you need to with a cushion. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, let's forward fold. 
support in the head, maybe onto the back of the hands. Maybe you need an extra cushion here. Let's just really sink into this stretch. Give your time, give yourself some time just to relax. Notice any sensations around the back of the hips. As you exhale, relax all of the muscles. The body begins to come heavier now and you'll just sink into the, the stretch. Over time, you get a little bit deeper into the connective tissues. Always looking for your own edge. There's no pain here. It's just a little stretch. Finding three more breaths here. And on your next exhale, let's walk the hands in underneath the shoulders, lengthen the spine. Let's try and lift straight back up into a down dog. So tuck the toes, shoot that front foot back and let's come into your down dog. Walk it through the legs, oh, realigning the hips. Inhale, let's lift up with your left leg and bring it through into your pigeon on this side. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, let's lower it down. Taking some deep breaths. Starting your pigeon pose for another three breaths. And then really mindfully as the muscles are super relaxed now, we're going to slowly bring them, the legs round to the front, hug into the knees and just rock backwards, up and down the spine, just releasing off some tension. And then finding your way into your savasana as we lengthen out the legs, coming into a neutral pose, breathing into the belly and letting the legs just relax out to the side. Feeling the whole body become heavy now. So we notice the hips ground onto the floor and just bring awareness now to that area of the body. Noticing any sensations as the hips come back in line. And I'd just like to thank you for joining in today. And if you have time, feel free to stay here for a moment longer. If you are ready to come up, maybe stretch out the hands, the fingers, the toes, maybe roll onto one side and let's bring it up into a comfortable seat, lengthening up through the spine, finding some stillness before you go on with your day, bringing the hands together, namaste.